Hello, everybody. Hope you're feeling fine. Hello, everybody. Hope you're feeling, feeling, feeling. Hope you're feeling fine. Hope you guys are feeling fine. How are you today? It's my pleasure to have you here online again. Bear this platform. It's my joy to meet you once again in our social habits class. But before we proceed to what we are having in our class today, we need to do a revision of what we did in our previous class. In our previous class, we treated a continent. Okay, we're able to know that we have seven continents in the world. We have seven continents in the world. Let us sing this song as a kind of revision to what we have learned. Okay, there are seven continents in the world. I can name them. What about you? God loves other people of the continent. Let us name them one by one. One North America, two South America, three Africa, Asia, four Europe, five Australia, six and Antarctica. These are the continents in in the world. So these are the seven continents we have in the world. Beautiful. Now for today, let us see what we have in our social habit class today. In our social habit class today, we are having the topic traffic light. Traffic light. Traffic light. Have you heard the word before? Is this strange to you? Oh, oh, you have not. Oh, you've seen it. Where did you see it? On the road? Do you want to say in your room? No, 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 no. You don't have it in your room. Now, before we go to the class proper, let us let us sing a song that that really thought about that traffic light. Let us go. Traffic light, traffic light. When you see a traffic light, there is something you must note. Red, say, stop. Red, say, stop. Yellow says, ready. Yellow says, ready. And the green light says, go, go, go. I am going. And the green light says, go, go, go. I am going. So before we go fully into what we are having today, we need to look at the picture of traffic lights, what it looks like. Uh oh, yes, I can see, I've seen it before. You've seen it, you've seen it on the road. Beautiful, all these things, the pictures you are seeing here is not on the road for decoration. It is not on the road for decoration and it is not there to beautify the road. It is not like flower that is planted on the road to make our road beautiful. No, 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 no. This is not a decoration tips, okay? This is standing there for a purpose. Each of the colors you are seeing on this traffic light symbol symbolizes something. Do you understand? So when we move deep, when we move deep into this lesson, do we know that what red represents, what yellow or amber represents, and what green really represents? Are you with me? Are you with me? Beautiful. Roll it for yourself. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Hit it. Give it to yourself. You are great. Now at the end of this class, you listening to me, you should be able to do something at the end of this class. You should be able to define traffic lights. You should be able to say what traffic light means. You should be able to mention different colors on the traffic light. You should be able to mention the three different colors on the traffic lights. There are no more than three. You should be able to mention the three different colors on the traffic lights. You should be able to describe what each of the lights means. They are not there for beautification, like I said. So they are there for a purpose. You should be able to describe what each of the lights really means. You should also, lastly, you should be able to identify the importance of traffic light. Why do we have the traffic light on the road? Why is it there? Is it for decoration? Is it for being there, for being safe? No. At the end of this class, we should be able to say the importance or identify the importance of traffic lights. Now the next one 
Look at this man. He is not holding the traffic light because no, someone cannot just hold it. He is just there for you to take notes. So traffic light is the light that control the movement of vehicles on the road. I repeat, traffic light is the light that controls the movement of vehicles on the road. We have so many vehicles on the road, but one might be coming on, on side A, another one in side B, another one in side C. If there's nothing to control all these vehicles, they can just crash and it can cause accidents. So many things can happen. So it's when we have the traffic lights on the road and when the light points to a, 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 a face, so the vehicle will know whether it is to stop or it is to get ready or it is ready for movement, okay? So traffic light is the light that controls the movement of vehicles on the road. Traffic light is the light that controls the movement of vehicles on the road. I repeat, traffic light is the light that controls the movement of vehicles on the road beautiful now colors on the traffic light colors on the traffic light colors on the traffic light ah red color one red color yellow we can say amber you use one of the two okay when you say yellow it also means amber okay so we have color red color yellow or amber, and color green. Now, when you see the red light on the traffic light, it means you have to stop. It means you have to stop. When you are, if you are in a vehicle, you are in your daddy's car, and you know that you just suddenly stop, just try to look at that traffic light symbol. That means that light has already on the red light. So once the red light is on, that means you need to stop for other vehicles to move, okay? So we need to maintain other limits on the road as well. Everybody cannot just be going, 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 no. We need to take turns, okay? So even vehicles take turns on the road in order to make everything work out well. Because if you don't observe all these signs on the road, it can even make you to get late to where you are going. So we need to observe that red light means what? Stop. Red light means what? Stop. Red light means what? Stop. What about yellow light or the amber? It means you need to wait, but ready to move. You need to wait, ready to move. Yellow light means wait, but ready to move. Once you see that yellow, yellow light, it means you are still waiting. You know, red says stop. Now, when you don't see the yellow light, immediately the yellow light popped up, then you must be ready to move. Then once you see the green light, it means go. And when you see green light, you are still stopping. That is not good enough. It can even cause accidents because other vehicles behind you are ready to go. But when you are there to go, mm -mm, I don't know what we have to Will you ask me a question that, what if the vehicle just stopped working? Wow. It happens. At times, the traffic light would have directed you to go. Then you know, you just realize that, that this car is no more working. It has stopped working. That's the mechanical fault, okay? But the green light, you need to, you need to notify the car behind you that the vehicle has a fault, okay? So when you see the green light, the green light says, go. The green light says, go. Now. Let me go over what I've said again. Red light means stop. Yellow or amber means ready. And the green light says go. Red says stop. Yellow or amber says ready. And the green light says go. Hope you are following. Are you with me? Are you with me? Wonderful pupils. Now, can you see? Wow. Can you see this? The picture of this car. And you can see a policeman, let me call him a policeman. Once the red light popped on, he's just putting his hand as a kind of stop for the upcoming vehicles. So once you see the red light, I repeat again, you have to stop. You have to what? Stop. 
So in case you are in a vehicle and you see a red light saying stop and the driver is still moving, tell the person, you have to stop. The red light says stop. Amber or yellow light means ready. Like I've said before, amber or yellow light means ready. Ready to move. Ready to move. Not ready and be sleeping. No. Ready to move. And the green light says go, go, go. I am going. And the green light says go, go, go. I am going. Now, our traffic light works. All the three traffic lights has been fixed on the road here. Can you see? It has been fixed on the road here. Look at the red button I'm pointing to on the screen now. This one, color red. You can see the vehicle stopped. The vehicle stopped. This car stopped. And come and see the red light here says stop. The yellow light here, the yellow light here, here, this one means ready, ready to move, ready to move, ready to move. And you can see the green light is already going, is already going, okay? So we need to observe all those colors on the traffic lights. What are the importance of traffic lights? Why do we have traffic lights? Is it there for decoration? Is it there just for policemen to have work to do? No, 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 no. You have your work to do, I have mine to do, and the policemen have their own to do. So traffic lights helps free movement, movement of vehicles on the road. It helps the, move, the movement of vehicles on the road. If you observe the traffic lights, each of the vehicles can be going freely on the road. Not that you'll be fighting for road. Not that most the, the, the upcoming vehicles see that the traffic light is pointing a particular color. And the traffic light needs to be obeyed. It needs to be obeyed. If you don't obey it, oh, it's a crime. It's a crime. It's a crime. If you are in a bus and the traffic light says stop and you, you are already going, the, 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 road, the road brothers, they will just follow you with their own bike with your own car, they will get you arrested. And somebody can go to jail because of that, okay? And if you are, the person did not go to jail, you can be built. You can be built for that. So make sure you obey the functions of all the three traffic lights on the road. It also helps to reduce the number of accidents on the road. Wow. It helps to reduce the number of accidents on the road. If you obey all this, you will not have any accidents on the road. Because once the traffic light says stops, you stop. Once it says ready to move, you are ready, you're already kicking. And once it says go, you keep going. Not that when it says go, then you are sleeping. When it says ready, you are still looking. Okay? No. We need to obey the function of this traffic light. Now, the summary of everything we have done, traffic light is an important symbol on the road for us. In order to avoid any accidents, we need to follow the traffic light. We need to obey the traffic light. We need to know that red says stop and what? Yellow means ready and the green light says go. Okay? Another name for yellow is amber. Another yellow for, name for yellow is amber. I try to bring it back to you again that Madam cares for you. I care for you. Please continue to stay safe. I care for you. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Madam cares. I love you and I know you love me too. Continue to stay safe till we meet again in our next, next class. Bye for now.